So, man, I got Damian Adams right now with the Real Deal podcast and 33 podcast. And we're about to get into one of my favorite segments of the show. And it's called, I call it the High Five. My last name is High. And, you know, High Five, mm-hmm. you know, you, you, you can do a lot of parodies with my last name, the casual highlight. High Five, you know. <laughs> I love it. You know, I lo- I, you know all, good, all good is with my last name. <laughs> but this is five this is five things this is the high five question so we give you a, it's like a top five five favorite five least and today's question i i got for you, i scripted for you damien if you were having a starting five in the nba who is your starting five but we could not include the mount rushmore of jordan lebron kobe and Shaq. okay so i'm gonna start at point guard and my point guard is going to be one that most people pick. But I believe if this guy could have stayed healthy, he would have went down as one of the greatest of all time. Mm-hmm. Got to go with Penny Hardaway at point Ooh. guard. Ooh. So you think about Penny Hardaway, 6'7", can shoot, can drive, can dunk on you, can defend. There was no weakness, literally no weakness in Penny Hardaway's game. Right? When you think about the fact that the only time the Bulls got beat in the 90s was to the Orlando Magic. Mm. Penny Hardaway was a big part of that. You got to give Penny his props, man. Like I said, Penny, first team All NBA pre injury. I mentioned all those intangibles that he has, intangibles. Uh, so I just love Penny as a player, man. So Penny Hardaway will be my point guard. As shooting guard, when you take those two away in Jordan and Kobe, mm-hmm. I want to get somebody who can play both offense and defense. So I'm going to go with D Wade. In okay. his prime, you think about maybe the greatest defender at his position for his height. So 6'4 is probably, I think he's still the leader in all-time blocks for somebody 6'4 or, or under, Man. right? So you think you think about that stat is a crazy <laughs> stat. And you remember a lot of the blocks that he had. Like you remember him coming over and blocking somebody at the rim and doing those type of things. And when he was young, man, I think people are starting to forget just how dominant this dude was. Like how crazy it was for them to come back from 2-0 in those finals. Because mm-hmm. he kept flashing, kept yeah. attacking, kept going to the rim. And a lot of people will say, well, D-Wade didn't have a three-point shot. He didn't need one. He was so crafty. Even when he got older and was no longer flash, and he called himself Father Prime, he still was so <laughs> crafty that he get, he'll yeah. get to that mid-range, hit you with a yeah. couple moves, pump fake. Next thing you know, you jumping past him, he got an open shot. Um, mm-hmm. So he's somebody who on both ends, I think, can help you win against any squad. Mm-hmm. Um, as small forward, mm, small forward is tough, man. But I feel like I have to go Kevin Durant there. Okay, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You think about Kevin Durant, I think he's the smoothest scorer of all time, right? Mm-hmm. You think about somebody at his height that can do the things he can do. Not only can you isolate him, you give him the ball, you can do the crossover, get to the rim. But he could run them off picks, down screens. He come hit the jumper. He can defend all positions. Pre Achilles, he was definitely one of the best defenders in the league. Get you thirty points a game easily. If you need him to be the one to finish off the game for you, he can do that. So I gotta go Kevin Durant at three. At the four, my favorite point power forward of all time, the big ticket, Kevin Garnett. Hey, uh, <laughs> absolute monster, man. And people remember him with the Celtics because they won a championship, but. Timberwolves KG, Woo. that that dude was nasty, bro. Seven feet, come down, dribbling the ball if he wanted to. Mm-hmm. People f- forget about the nasty shimmy move. He come in the post, yeah, hit the fade on you. Could dunk like he was nasty, athletic, dunking everybody. And I believe he's the greatest defender of all time. Mm. You think about Kevin Garnett at his height. You switch him out on point guard, he can stay in front of him. Yeah, can block you at the rim. Can guard centers in that era, which was a center dominated era. And yeah. if he played today, he could guard the centers today. Yeah. So he's somebody who in any era could guard one through five. And I have Kevin Durant or Kevin Garnett, excuse me, as my greatest defender of all time and my power forward. And that center, my favorite center of all time, the king of footwork, Hakeem the Dream Elijah one. Oh man. Yeah. <laughs> he's another all time great defender. He's definitely in that conversation with greatest defender of all time. And when you think about the fact that when he won championships, he was the only star player on his team. 
Right, you rocking the Houston Rockets hat, so I know you appreciate it, man. Yeah. Listen, yeah, I, I, I found this throwback, brother. Hey, I found this. I said I had to rock that thing, man. So yeah, I, I respect history. Yeah, definitely, definitely. And with him, one of the few players to get MVP and Defensive Player of the Year in the same year. So you know how dominant he was on both ends. Um, the fact that when you give to him in the post, the footwork, the moves, a, a thousand moves in the post, the dream shake, it was nasty. He can. Pick and roll, pick and pop, so versatile. So when you look at my squad, the height, you start your, your shortest guy is 6'4", and he's a shooting guard. Yeah. You think about Penny Hardaway, Dwayne Wade, Kevin Durant, Kevin Garnett, Kim Olajuwon. We lock you down, and we can score on you in so many different ways. Right. I think that five is a, is a pretty nasty five. I, I'll put it up against any five. That's a nasty, that's <laughs> a nasty five, Doc. Like, man. And you left some other names off too, but 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 this, but this will this will get it done right here. This this yeah. will especially like when you talked about KG, when you talked about Minnesota days. See, I remember when him and Stefan Marbury played together. Oh, yeah. That was, that was one of my teams growing up. When I had the, the Kobe Bryant NBA courtside game, that was oh, my crap. team. I rolled with man. I, I rolled yeah. with them, man. And uh, you had Gugliotta in, in the middle. You had Sam mm -hmm. Mitchell. You had um, the, the his best friend uh, Cersei, shooting guard. Yeah. Like you had, then, then later on in the year when they had a Latrell Sprewell and um, and Sam Cassell, man, I was rooting hard that year for them to get to them to the <laughs> final. But I said they might not have enough with these Lakers, man, and, and Kobe and Shaq. Yeah, you know, like too much. Yeah, yeah, 